We have always really been into the opportunity of augmented reality, mixed reality. What if we could actually put out, lay out for construction? A milestone was recently achieved in construction using augmented reality, or AR. Martin Brothers, a drywall subcontractor in Gardena, California, successfully framed a structure using only a hollow lens and rendered model with no construction plans. Cody Nowak, Martin Brothers' VDC BIM manager, walked us through the process and explained how a drywall company made the leap into AR. First, give us what does the acronym BIM CAVE stand for? So BIM is Building Information Modeling, and CAVE stands for Computer Automated Virtual Environment. Okay, that's what we're in right here. That's what this we're is in right now. the yes. Martin Brothers BIM cave. Welcome to my cave. <laughs> what was the proof of concept that you sure. were you were trying to achieve here? All right, so with the the bathroom pod, that was small enough that it was a room that we could frame and have utilize the HoloLens. We're looking at iterations and versioning of hardware and software. We just want to prove make that proof of concept that we're able to do it. So with the bathroom pod. We were able to just do framing, slim it down to two and a half inch track and stud, which is, that's all we really need for proof of concept. So we're able to see where that bottom track is laid, where that top track is laid, right? And do that overlay cut to length based on the actual 3D model of the track and then shoot it, and screw it down to the ground, right? Uh, and to the ceiling and then go through and place the studs on that 18 inch on center spacing and utilize the HoloLens, the hologram for that placement and then go through and build the, the rest of the bathroom pod. Hearing the process described isn't quite the same as experiencing it firsthand. So Cody had me walk through the three-step process for myself. So right now you're just seeing reality, right? You're yep. not seeing anything. Yep. Now if you look over here on the next set, we're going to see Oh, oh right yeah, to yeah, 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 totally. Right? Yeah, totally see it. Using the verbal command next, I was able to advance through each of the building stages, seeing exactly what the framer saw. Next. Next. <laughs> Martin Brothers created this three-step process through an integration partnership with Scope AR, provider of advanced augmented reality solutions. So for this first proof of concept then, I guess the idea, the goal was just to um, say it's possible indoors in a controlled environment to build with the hollow lens and not have a set of plans. Was, is that what you were trying to achieve? Yeah, I exactly. And that's, that's why we, I tweeted out, we've done it. I was putting that out to them saying that we've done it. We've done a POC, uh, building a bathroom pod with framing. When you originally tweeted the story, um, it got a lot of attention. I thought it'd be great to kind of reach out to the Twitter world. We posted some questions online and I thought we'd go through them together and you could kind of go through and answer them online. Shall we go through them? Yeah, awesome idea. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, at Bimmy Fallon asked, uh, what is the hardware software setup used to make this happen? Great question. So uh, hardware, of course, is the Microsoft HoloLens, right, for our augmented mixed reality. Um, and then uh, the, we used a computer, of course, uh, BIM spec computer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, software side would be, uh, we published our content through uh, our BIM authoring tool, Autodesk Revit, right? And then uh, uh, pushed it through to uh, Unity, which was our authoring software uh, platform to uh, the HoloLens. Of course, we uh, did some, some things and worked with Scope in on a platform plugin uh, in Unity to push it through and get our desired uh, look and interactions with the the app uh, platform on the Microsoft HoloLens. Okay, so we have another one here. Um, at Dace Campbell asks, what use case for AR were applied and to what effect? So install, QC, inspect, etc. Sure. So uh, right now, this POC was just for construction layout of uh, metal stud framing. Uh, so we went through the different the, the steps, the process of building the bathroom pod. So bottom track, top track, studs, backing. So we also have uh, Dace Campbell again. Uh, good question. What went wrong and how would you do it differently next time? Uh, what can others do to improve upon your work? 
So I, I do want to point out that this is a proof of concept. We wanted to prove that we're able to actually utilize the Microsoft HoloLens to do construction layout with framing, right? Specifically, mm -hmm. uh, that's what we set out to do and that's what we did. Uh, it is a versioning process. So uh, we're going through iterations uh, with our partner, um, Scope AR, and it, it's something to stay tuned and see where we're going to go with it, right? What's next? What's the next milestone that Martin Brothers is going to try to reach? So we're looking at a startup en entity uh, where we utilize the partnerships that we have in the AEC industry and the tech industry to move forward with this R&D that we've been doing with the POC here that we've seen today. Uh, as well as other technologies. Shout out to Scott Montgomery and Scope AR, the team over at Scope AR. We couldn't have done this without them and uh, us uh, partnering with them, is it's, it's a big deal. That's awesome. All right, great. Well, thanks again for having us today. This was really exciting, really appreciate it. And congratulations on hitting such an amazing milestone. This really is kind of inspiring, I'm sure, for many out there. So thank you, Cody. Thank you. Coming to Martin Brothers today, I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to capture or if it would even translate. But when it comes to AR for AEC, seeing for yourself is truly believing. Understanding what Martin Brothers and other small contracting firms are trying to do to push the envelope of innovation is nothing less than inspiring. For more industry news, visit Structure.